In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the pros and cons about the University of Miami. I'm gonna be telling you everything that's amazing about the school, but also everything that sucks. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? It's Danny. This video is one that has been in the works for a while. I legit graduate in like a month. It might actually be a little bit sooner because by the time I shoot this video, edit it, procrastinate, then like upload to YouTube, it's gonna get closer to my graduation date. But point is, is that it's time to talk about the pros and cons of the University of Miami. Now, if this is the first time that you guys see one of my videos, what's up, my name is Danny, I am an athletic training senior that's about to graduate really soon from the University of Miami. On my channel, I have a bunch of vlogs and videos about the University of Miami, so if you're considering going to UM, please make sure to check out my channel and hit the subscribe button. Even if you're not going to UM, but you're just like watching this video, hit subscribe. But anyways, guys, in my four years of being here, I have compiled a list of 10 pros and 10 cons for the University of Miami. Obviously, when you go to campus and you do a campus tour, they're only gonna tell you like the really, really good things. So that's why I kind of want to make this video so you guys can know the good things, but also know the bad things. Let's start off with the pros, the good things. The first pro for the University of Miami, which is an obvious one, is that it's Miami. I'm gonna be honest with you, I might be biased because I'm from Miami, but listen, Miami itself is not just like any US city, any, you know, any place you just go to. A lot of people think that Miami fits like that classic Florida stereotype, but no, that is not true at all. Okay, maybe some parts, but, but trust me. There's just always something to do for everyone and trust me you will not be bored also the weather here is really nice you probably already knew that though like winter is like high 70s it's always like really hot the sun's always out except when it rains like on occasions but besides that the weather is great I just don't know how to explain it like you actually have to like be here and experience it yourself but Miami itself is just like its own vibe which is why it's an automatic pro the second pro is that campus is just really nice guys the campus straight up it's gorgeous like sometimes you don't even feel that you're on a college campus it's pretty modern but there's also like that outdoorsy vibe you see a lot of like wild ducks around there's a lot of like outdoor spots just to like chill and study there's also a pool on campus which is really nice because if you have time in between classes you can just like chill by the pool which like you can't really do that in a lot of places there's also just a good vibe like people actually enjoy being on campus everybody's like happy doing their own thing there's always events going on just a lot of like stuff on campus it's not like a huge campus but it's just the right size and it has everything that you would want there's also a bar on campus that usually sells beers but because of COVID they no longer sell beers so I want everybody down below in the comment section to put hashtag bring back rap beers thank you the next pro is that there's just something to do for everyone if you love going out clubbing being a baller on the weekends you can do that here but if you're a really calm person you just want to chill relax enjoy Miami not really spend too much money you can also do that in Miami you have some of the best restaurant bars and nightclubs but you also have some really good beaches some really good parks so no matter what you're into you'll find it here the next pro is that UM does have a lot of majors I'm gonna be honest I don't know the exact number of majors but I know that there's just a lot just like any other college you're gonna have like your basic like business biology engineering whatever it is but then they have like really specific majors that like you just didn't know exist so no matter what you're interested in what you want to study I'm pretty sure that you'll find a major that suits you the next pro is that UM does have a lot of extracurricular activities let's be honest you want to do something on campus that doesn't involve studying or going to classes you also want to meet more people you can do that by joining a club that you're really interested in or even doing a club sport again I really don't know numbers but if you really have a passion for something or you're interested in something go ahead join a club it'll be really fun or let's say you play a sport or you want to try out a sport but you're not like a d1 athlete join a club sport it's like a really good way to like stay in shape and meet a bunch of people the next pro is school spirit overall the school spirit is pretty high for the most part everybody loves being in Miami going to UM like I don't know what it is but like just being a UM student like being there like just gives you like this feeling and when everybody kind of like has like that really good feeling and like you kind of surround yourself with like other UM students like I don't know there's just something about it that like 
you have to experience it because I can't really put it in words as you see I'm, I'm struggling a little bit but anyways UM has really good spare the tailgates and football games are super fun even though I haven't been to a tailgate or a football game in a really long time because of COVID but I'm pretty sure that if you get in you'll probably go to one the next pro about going to UM is that it has a diverse student campus obviously being in Miami it's pretty diverse but I would also say that UM itself also has like a really diverse set of students now when I say diverse I don't just mean racially and ethnically diverse I also mean socially diverse there's a good amount of international students that come from like a whole different culture so like if you're an international student and you want to go to UM you'll fit in just fine there's people from all sorts of political ideologies religions sexual orientations so no matter who you are and what you think you're bound to find somebody that has similar interests as you. The next pro are the resources. The school has a fair amount of resources. If you're feeling sick, there's legit a health clinic on campus that's actually like really nice and modern. Even the library has a bunch of resources. I once used the writing center and it came in really, really clutch. There's even a place that can help you like find a job and like help you with your careers. So yeah, there's just a lot of different resources that you should use to your advantage. The next pro are the alumni connections. So many cool and important people went to UM like The Rock and Sylvester Stallone but alumni connections and relationships come in really really clutch when you're looking for an internship or a job if you find a job or an internship where like there's a UM alumni like in charge it could really help you out or even by just putting like University of Miami like on your resume like it just really makes it stand out and somebody might recognize you easier or even if you like ask your professor if they like taught anybody or if they know anybody who like does something that like you're interested in I'm pretty sure they can help you out now keep in mind going to UM and having like a good alumni network won't promise you a successful future but it can help you out now the last pro is the small class size so I'm gonna be honest I did my research and I think there's like 11,000 undergrads and like 6,000 grad students which honestly is like not that bad because of that small class size you actually get to know your classmates and your professors really really well which can come in really clutch like obviously it's college so you might have your classes and like really large like lecture halls that are like really packed and like all that but even then those like larger classes don't feel as overwhelming because you kind of get to know like a good amount of people and it's like not that bad compared to other colleges so now that I mentioned the 10 pros it's time to talk about the 10 cons the bad things the things that they really don't tell you first con which is really obvious is that UM is really really expensive sure you can get scholarships get some financial aid but still it's still expensive let's say somehow though you get a lot of money covered you have good financial aid you get scholarships you get a loan whatever you have it a lot covered Guys, Miami itself is still really expensive. Housing on or off campus can be expensive. Going out is expensive. Just overall, like the city is expensive. The next con, which you might not be aware of unless you spend some time here, and it's definitely something that I noticed growing up in Miami, is that it is superficial. Obviously, it's Miami, it's expensive, UM, expensive, daddy's money. You know, it kind of like all adds up and you kind of get this like sense of, what's the word, a super superficiality yeah you get a sense of superficiality at times you'll meet people that think are your friends but then you realize that like they think that they have more money than you or they think that they're better than you and then you realize that they're not really your friends sometimes it feels like a competition to see who has like the best car the best apartment in Brickell, like who spends the most on the weekends on a table at live for the girls who has like the bigger louis vuitton bag that's kind of like what I'm talking about. Now, I promise you, not everybody is like that. Obviously, a lot of people are gonna meet are really great and amazing, but I'm just saying that like that whole like daddy's money concept is definitely a thing here. The next thing that is a huge con, and you're probably super confused about it already, is the cognate system. When you start doing all these tours, all these orientations, you start learning about cognates and how great they are. In reality, you're just paying for extra classes that aren't really helpful to your major and not only does it take away money from you but it also takes away time from you it's literally like they force you to do a class that really has nothing to do with what you're studying and then they say oh it's just so you can be like well-rounded but in reality you're like never gonna use that class for your future so you're kind of just like taking it for like no reason now I'm not gonna lie I do know some people that love their cognate they love having like 
kind of like more classes and stuff but i just think that it shouldn't be mandatory because it does take time away from like what you really have to focus on the next con is that there can be poor handling from administration and the higher ups i really didn't notice this until covid happened and i realized like damn sometimes like the school really has no idea what they're doing obviously with covid the school is a thing of its own they, they literally like didn't know what to do like initially they were like Oh, like you can't throw parties, you can't do this, you can't do that. But like people stowing out anyways, people like had parties and gatherings like all the time. So like, I don't know, the, the school just doesn't know what they're doing at times. Like sometimes you think the school is being too strict and overbearing, but sometimes you're like, bro, like what are you guys doing? Now the next con is professors. Now I am not saying that every professor is bad. In fact, I am sure that there are more good professors by a lot than bad professors. But let me be honest, I had one terrible experience with a UM professor. It was so traumatizing, which is why professors is on my con list. I even have friends who are in different majors. They study completely different things. And when they tell me their experiences with their professors, some of those experiences are like, really? Like, how are they qualified to teach? Like they get paid like a lot of money. They have PhDs and like, this is like what you get. like. I don't know it's just shocking i think that my main message is that just because you go to the university of miami you go to this like really good school not every professor is gonna be amazing my next con is that there's always construction going on now this is really ironic because campus is really modern and obviously for campus to be modern you need construction but damn like there's just always construction going on like you see something being built and you're like i wonder what that is i wonder what that is then it gets built and then you graduate in like a couple of months so you never really get to enjoy what you're seeing get built legit i remember being a freshman and seeing like the lakeside dorms like being built little by little and i really didn't get to like enjoy them until like senior year and like even now when i like walk around lakeside it's like a whole foreign land to me. It's like a different concept. And even now they're building like a bunch of random buildings. I really don't know what they are, but I'm never really going to experience them because I'm going to graduate really soon. And also campus is really small. So when there's always construction going around, like, I don't know, it just gets in the way of everything. The next con on this list is the bad housing. Guys, I'm going to be straight up. The freshman dorms are not good at all. The sophomore dorms, which are like Mahoney and Pearson, they can be a lot better. I've never been into Eden, so I can't say anything. But the freshman dorms, they're just like super, super small, super cramped up, like gray everywhere. They like don't look nice at all. Now you do have the two outliers, which are Lakeside and the UV. But even the UV can be expensive. And yes, you have Lakeside, which looks super modern, super nice, out of this world. But guess what? It's super expensive and also, I've heard from a lot of people that live there that there's like a bunch of like plumbing issues, a bunch of electricity issues. I don't know how accurate that is, but I've just heard Lakeside has a lot of problems that still have to get fixed. And if you decide to live off campus, like I said earlier, Miami is expensive. So renting a place can cost a lot of money. Next up on my con list are the distractions. Now this is a huge one. Like I said, Miami is really big. There's a lot to do. It's a really fun city, but because of that, you can face a lot of distractions. Let's say this, it's Friday night, but you have an exam on Monday. You're like, you know what? Let me just study, let me be smart. But guess what? Your friends are like, no, come out with us, come out with us. You get peered, pressured into going out. Next thing you know, you pull off a three day bender. It's Sunday night, you haven't studied and you're like cramming last minute and somehow you get an A+. Plus. You don't know how, but you got the A. Even though you can pull things like that off, it always doesn't work. And you also don't wanna be like overwhelmed with work and like super stressed out. So my advice is like when you get here, just like really, really set your priorities straight. Like really kind of focus on what you came for and then trust me, it will all work out. The next con, which is probably the biggest thing I hate about UM is the parking. So imagine this, you're a fellow UM student, you know, you pay a lot of money for tuition, then you have to pay $500 for parking and then you park in an area that's not yours and you get a parking ticket. Like you would think that because of like all the money circulating around, like parking should not be an issue, but it is. Overall, the parking system just sucks. It's rigged. I don't know what they're doing up there, but the parking is terrible. Now the last and 10th con is that the football stadium is just really, really far. Even though our stadium is like super, super nice, everybody wishes that it was closer to campus. In order to get to a football game, it's just like a whole mission because it's just like so far. Yes, the school does come in clutch and they do have shuttles that just like take you to the stadium. 
but it's just like you have to like kind of like go there at a certain time it's like you're tailgating you're like losing sense of time little by little it's like i have to get on the shuttle i, have to, I can't miss it i don't know it's just like a lot and just to get there it's like a 30 to 45 minute drive there's a bunch of traffic you get stuck in that traffic you're just like there in the bus you miss the kickoff like just getting to the stadium can be a hassle at times but yeah guys those were pretty much my 10 pros and my 10 cons for the university of miami hopefully this video helped you choosing out if you almost right for you i know that like four years ago when i was looking into schools i kind of didn't know the pros and cons so it was a little bit difficult but hopefully this video gave you more clarity if you enjoyed it make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below to stay up to date with my weekly uploads that is it for me but always, always, always remember. To stay hydrated.